And the worst thing you can do in a messy middle is to do nothing and then get sucked in into the swamp of, of you know, despair. So anyway, that, you know, we can go back to it. But again, if I have to, re to summarize, number one is kill it. Uh, so realizing it's bad, so kill anything that's bad. Number two is momentum. Whatever you do, keep moving. Um, and I think having fun to learn in the purpose of learning. So fun plus learning is, I think, a good cocktail. I'm super excited to do that with AI right now. Um, number three is, you know, co-founder driven, just find good people and see what kind of the sum of you plus that person would lead to, um, you know, the multi-billion dollar thing and the passion thing are like obvious one, but if none of the obvious one works, then you have to be creative. And I think the last one, and that's going to be a segue to Gabriel is travel, you know, and meet, you know, new ecosystem, try, try to, you know, if you're stuck where you are and none of these things works, that might just mean you, you need to, to meet new, new people. <laughs> smiling today i don't i i i uh i'm told we had to smile more no i'm kidding welcome to the messy middle which step are we on at this point i know i'm not supposed to ask that um but it's because i'm i'm jet lagged out in san francisco i am in the valley of junkies and dreamers um <laughs> sad. i took my, i, I awesome. took a waymo yesterday for the first time how was dry, it? Dry, sitting, sitting in the back of a Waymo makes me want to never take an Uber ever again. Honestly, is it the conversation? If I, I don't care about the conversation. In fact, I wish every Drew, Uber the, driver the conversation, would never say, yeah, would but never say anything. Doesn't matter. You, and the, you saw GPT four O. You know, you'll just stick. Exactly. Talk to you. I'll be like, amazing! Oh my god, it's so great! Like, I, I don't know. And, and we we done. beat lots of sub we we beat lots of subjects to death here on the yeah. uh, messy middle, uh, but like I have to say, these last few days in San Francisco, driving in the Waymer, Waymer, I want to call it a Waymer, the Waymer, uh, the Waymo, driving in the Waymo, the, meeting the, the Ubo, the Ubo, <laughs> uh, Waymer, like, you know. Open open AI is like five minute walk from from the apartment that I'm staying in, seeing everything that's going on with Open AI. It's it's very um, thrilling. So so my prediction going forward is not a prediction. My hope is that um, every single driver is replaced by self driving cars. Looking forward to that. Time. What's our topic this yeah. week, Teddy? Teddy Frank, what's our topic? Uh, unemployment. <laughs> talking about unemployment <laughs> rates, the stock, the, the GameStop, an Uber driver GameStop as a and AMC stock. Oh, yeah, it's back. It's what back. Happened? Every the, the I, I Roaring think, Kitty think... posted his image. Oh, that's right. I saw yes yeah. the leaning chair, right? It was the yes um, the game mode. Um, it it feels like things are eerily back because I'm in SF. Because we're seeing the the mean trend back, AMC, GameStop, um, but maybe this is just a mirage. Frank, you're the one who's you know been in Europe all this time. Teddy's got the Founder Games in in uh, Skopje, so you know. So what? <laughs> so here's so a question. Am I, am, was it like? Am I, are we supposed to talk about things today, guys? Like, what 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 is that? I know. I, I know you're know. excited to travel, so we go back to that. I um, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I really like. To me, it's a good sign. I need to go back to San Francisco, so I'll take it that way. But I mean, Europe is just, uh, you know, war and depression, and uh, you know, everything's awful. The uh, like it's. Um, I don't know if you feel the war in uh, from the U.S., but you definitely feel it from Estonia, where yeah. I. I told you I got my little guide that says how, like, how to hide in case of bombing or whatever. It makes it very real, um, but uh, to be honest, I don't really, I don't really care about that. I'm not, I'm not, I, I'm, the, I'm just like you know, been traveling, go back, and I feel like it's a week of just dealing with urgency and backlogs and things, and so I don't even follow the news, and I'm, I'm very excited about, um, kind of a change bracket, right? I mean, people follow us, and we talk about general subject, but we also each of us have our own challenges, and we're, we're addressing our messy middle. And again, to me, the messy middle is not a nice place to be. It's like doing a startup. You don't want to be a startup for too long. You want to figure out your business. Um, I'm so super excited to kind of go into action mode 
and maybe maybe that's the subject of the day, which is like how what tactics do you have like whenever you're you're stuck? Mm -hmm. So I can I can talk about mine. I've got a couple of them, and uh, and then maybe curious to know yours. But to me, I think the first thing is to realize you're stuck. Um, you know, that's the first rule of a game. You might not even know you're stuck, and there's there's plenty of people I know. Who, you know, you see them one day, and you see them six months after that, and they're kind of the same conversation going on. And so, you know, uh, that's something you have to self-reflect. Um, but to me, let me go real quick through 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 these, and then I'll let you guys bounce. Mm -hmm. and tell me what you think. Um, number one is okay. So you're in between. You kind of want to launch a new startup. So there's a couple of things going on, right? We we talked about it before, which is what the hell should I launch as my next startup? Um, and then you have different strategies with that, right? It's like one, it's follow your passion. Uh, it's cheesy. I know it's been overused, but it's true. It's like, it's, it's not something you even have to think about, which is not where I am. Um, so if you have that, great, you know, go do that. Um, then the second one is, okay, let's, what, what's the big business? Like what's the multi billion dollar idea? And we, we tried that together way back. Um, these are not easy, you know, it's like, <laughs> it's like you can have the idea, but then the execution is difficult, blah, blah. And then if you have it great, you know, and if everybody, and if it works, then you go with it. But then, then you have these issues where you're like, ah, I don't have anything. I don't have any passion. I don't have my super multi billion dollar idea. I kind of need to make some cash. So what do I do? Uh, and then, then it makes more complete. It's more complicated. Another strategy I've got for that um, is looking for the right people. So keep bouncing around. You know, meeting people and be like, ah, that, that person and myself, like we're very complimentary. So what, what is the sum of our competences and can we start to date, um, you know, work on something and see where it goes. Um, I did that a couple of times, I guess, I guess my listener is maybe when, when it doesn't work right away, like no need to, to keep it for too long. Um, and then, but why I did think, you keep it for too long? Why, um, why, di why did you, what, distance, were the, you distance, were you scared? No, no, no. The distance is just, it's just like, you know, you're, I've never did something where it was full distance before. Um, mm -hmm. and I think what's kind of new for me. So usually when you meet people, you, you take people in your own town and your own city, but I mean, Estonia where I guess the talent pool is not as good as in the U S. Um, and so when you work remote, there's like the time difference, the rhythm is different, the communication is different. So it's, uh, it's like bandwidth is different. Um, mm -hmm. but I, I guess now I've got a better gist of it and it's the future of work anyway. So. You know, people will work remote and that, but just, you know, it's easier to keep things going on for a long time because you have also, because I'm distracted with other things, uh, not distracted, but I mean, I already have edictis, I already have a startup I've launched, um, and I manage, I manage it and it takes a lot of my time. Um, so it's not like, you know, it's not like I'm, I have nothing else and I'm just going to be laser focused on something, which I guess helps. Um, and now I'm at the point where I'm like. I just want to have fun. I think that's a good strategy. You know, let's, let's do things for fun. We, we did that with Teddy a little way back with uh, Tamago GPT. And I think that's almost the most useful thing we've done. Um, and so I'm like, let's double down on that, which is the opposite of everything else. Like, don't look for co-founders. Don't look for a good to be another idea. Um, we had this discussion with Teddy way back where I was like, let's do that. And Teddy would push back and say, yeah, but why and how? And is it like a big blah, blah? And, and I think... It's fine to have these pushbacks, but I, I would argue it's better to move, even if you don't have a billion vision, even if you don't have a passion, even if a thing doesn't make sense. Um, it's it's a good strategy to move. Yeah. Well, so it's, action it's... with no purpose, I think, is still is good. Um, and but again, you you want to keep your eyes open. So the idea is to be let's do things for fun, and you know, and maybe something will click, uh, and that's fine. But. Again, the worst thing you can do in the messy middle is to do nothing and then get sucked in into the swamp of, of you know, despair. So, anyways, that you know, we can go back to it. But again, if I have to re to summarize, number one is kill it. Uh, so realizing it's bad, so kill anything that's bad. Number two is momentum. Whatever you do, keep moving. Um, and I think having fun to learn in the purpose of learning. So fun plus learning is, I think, a good cocktail. I'm super excited to do that with AI right now. Um, number three is, you know, co-founder driven, just find good people and see what kind of the sum of you plus that person would lead to, um, you know, the multi-billion dollar thing and the passion thing are like obvious one, but if none of the obvious one works, then you have to be creative. And I think the last one, and that's going to be a segue to Gabriel is travel, you know, and meet, you know, new ecosystem, try, try to, you know, if you're stuck where you are and none of these things works, that might just mean you, you need to, to meet new, new people. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I, I agree. Travel is important. Um, in fact, you know, that's, that's why I've been away from Florida for the last almost three months and I'll continue. I mean, I'll continue to be away from it and I'm even working on renting out the apartment, um, soon so I can get my ass out of there. But, uh, what travel has enabled me to do, um, is, I mean, yesterday, again, I'm, Repeating the Waymo, driving in the back of sitting in the Waymo or the Waymer, as I call it. But, uh, you know, the first time I came out to SF last year, which was only a month into my messy middle, I had a good time. And I met, you know, I met Sergey Brin. I met all these people. Um, and it was a fantastic trip, but I did not feel the way I feel today which is six months, even seven months into my messy middle, um, where I feel a lot more confident. I feel like I actually can go meet people. And the third thing is like, I'm having fun again. Which, so it's like going back. Sorry, that's, to me, that's another strategy right here, which is if you didn't work the first time, you'll try again. Like, yeah. No. <laughs> like it's like, mm. yeah. It might work and, the second time. And, and Later. yeah. And, and, and it might not work the third time, but again, it, it it's, you, you have to go with the mindset that your expectations are virtually nothing low. <laughs> like I, I was coming out to San Francisco, I was getting ready to board the flight. Yeah. You know, earlier this week, they canceled the helicopter. You know, I was like, Oh, I'm not going to go. And, um, I, I made it, I got the upgrade life flat seat and I'm like, I'm not looking forward to this trip at all. But now like four days into it, I've met a ton of really cool people. Um, and, and it's been worthwhile and it's been worthwhile. I guess the key point there is, Maybe next time, um, don't book the helicopter. That was, yeah, but hold on, because so you're dumb. still you want you want to avoid delusion, right? Which is you're still in a mess in it all. You're oh, excited. absolutely. You're excited. Yeah. You met you met good people. You see new things like new horizons. But what's the action? Like, what's the well, how do you create momentum? How do you leverage whatever whatever you're feeling right now? Is that oh, can I have it no Can you convert that yeah. into no clue? No okay. clue. I mean, I. So no clue, so, no clue is know, fine. So, so again, what's the strategy against no clue? And to me, the strategy against no clue is do anything. It doesn't matter. But but then yeah. it's fun. At least at least I would aim for fun. If you have no clue, it doesn't matter. Um, you said it, yeah. Frank, but, in one yeah. of the previous episodes. I don't know what the topic was, but you said like the tendency to go towards the like events people things that give you more energy. And I can yeah. I can uh, I, I totally felt that I'm also traveling right now. I'm in Skopje for uh, <laughs> and your the, energy the, the is great. <laughs> so, so that's the thing. Uh, you also said it just like seconds ago. Give it another chance. I've been in part of this ecosystem for a while in the past, uh, and I sort of lost hope at some point because a lot of different people with different interests, and I never really wanted to come back and and sort of help or give back again. But now I, I gave it another chance because of the group that I met, and uh, I came here for this founder games event, which is this reality show for entrepreneurs. And this weekend was like. It, it totally changed my mind. It, it gave me oh, the, nice. the, the energy back, the trust back, and I'm very surprised. There's a lot of work that needs to be done on the topic of people being stuck working on one idea for too many years. Uh, that's still the case, but it's just like fresh new energy, and I just really love that. So as much as I was pushing back on travel before coming here, I'm glad I did it right now. I'm glad I'm I'm here and, and, and saw these nice. amazing founders and everything. Uh, so the way to get unstuck, I guess, for me also in that context is just to give it another try, give it another chance, try to meet another people mm -hmm. and see it from different perspectives and, and, and potentially if not the second, maybe the third time, uh, it will start, start working. But once you see that energy, once to see that enthusiasm, optimism, mm -hmm. I'm feeling like I'm getting unstuck mentally from, from this and sort of cage of like different ideas. It doesn't mean that I'm out of the messy middle, but it's progress yep. towards getting out of it something you feel yeah. it yeah sorry Gabriel. absolutely and i've mentioned this a few i've I mentioned this a few times to to you guys individually also together on the podcast that i have this feeling this energy that i'm close even though i have no idea what i'm close to i feel yeah. i feel it and as frank says with the action point like i'm ready like as soon as i i kind of have the one or two inklings of of the thing that I want to work on, I think I'm ready to to take the plunge. And that, um, where where even two months ago I was not ready. 
Yeah. yeah. And I, I don't know. I hate, <clears throat> hate the influencer thing or the, the cheesy things like where it's like, you know, follow your blah, blah, or, you know, mental things, but I, I like the rational. And so another thing you make me think of is whenever you talk about this energy, this thing, whatever you're doing, like the, the rational for it is the brain is dealing with all these things in the back end of your head. Um, I, there's this book I love, um, which it's called Your Brain at Works, I think. Uh, I, li I really like uh, that book. If you guys want, mm. to, want to, I can share it. But the, Is it a one picture of learning... book? I'm just kidding. <laughs> yes. Um, one, of the learning from the book, one of the learning from the book is, you know, this, this trick, and I think maybe we mentioned it before, whenever you walk, whenever you go in the shower, whenever you go in the restroom, whenever you wake up in the morning, whenever you're in between of falling asleep, then, you know, whatever your brain comes with, which may make nonsense, is actually something that, you know, has been processed in the back end of it. So that's another trick, that's another strategy. And, and, mm -hmm. and I would push it to whatever comes at that time is maybe the thing you should be pushing. Um, the other thing I'm, I'm thinking of now is the mental health and physical health about energy. My energy is super low, been under a lot of stress. I guess my body has been, you know, swimming in cortisol for, for the past couple of months. Um, and I need to address that. So that's something else I'm doing. So I'm starting to do sauna in the morning, going back slowly to Good. sports, back, backing at work seeing a nutritionist next week, doing blood works and all of that. And I think again, it goes into that part of having energy. Like, yeah, like, you know, at one point when you're in a messy middle, it's, it's normal. It's natural to, to go through, you know, your body kind of slowing down, like things like whatever way you can cope with what you're going on. Um, but I think when you start to hit rock bottom and you start to, to, to bounce back and you start to have this energy, um, it, it's good also to work on, you know, building back your, your, your physical health. Um, extremely so, important. That's another, that's another trick. What I mean is maybe, yeah. you know, action can also be not related to business at all. And that will be helpful. Definitely. And, and oh, that comes and with spring. I mean, to be fair, we're, we're getting out, out of, out of winter here with a wonderful, uh, you know, aurora borealis, uh, uh, like that, that happened like a couple of days ago, but <laughs> Jesus, that's fucking oh, well, 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 Anyway, well, like well, well, sun, sun is good. Aurora borealis. <laughs> I don't know what it's in English. It's like Northern, Northern, <laughs> Northern Ireland. But, but it's still, you can, sorry, it's still correct in English, just the Latin term. I Frank, I, I, I want to I wanna say that I'm proud of you for doing those things. That's like very I'm not important. doing anything yet. Really? I'm talking about it. But I mean, you, I'm, you I'm said meaning you first do day. sauna. That's like a good start. I do sauna in the morning. Uh, I did, it's sauna and four degrees start. Celsius water. Yeah. Hey, no, 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 I feel that's better. really I'm, good. I'm getting good. That's really good. And I finished I'm, my I'm, apartment. He's moving. Like all these things, like it feels, it feels good. I'm, I'm like Gabriel right now, feeling to some kind of momentum. I, I awesome. think the three of us are kind of heading to momentum. I saw Teddy with all the posts for the Founders Games. Looks really cool. Yeah. And like, I want to make this a point. May fourteenth. It's nine twenty-two a.m. PST for me. CET. It's probably like what six thirty for you guys. Six twenty-two. Yeah. Six twenty-two. Yeah. Me. So, I want to make this a point is that this is the the kind of almost like the, the halfway point of the messy middle for me, but also for our podcast. All of us, we've taken actions since November of starting us to mm -hmm. get us through it. So like we want to be the example for everyone listening. And Actually, that's true. Total... That's another strategy. You guys should launch a podcast if you're in between. <laughs> Everybody. It, it keeps, you, keeps you moving. Yeah, it's good. Now, and if you launch a podcast from our podcast, please just ask people to subscribe. No, I'm so we have this great <laughs> shout out to like the like click on the like button. Macedonia. And now it's a great segue into our sponsor, <laughs> Dan Martell from the SAS Oops. Academy or whatever. <laughs> oh, love it, Dan. <laughs> um, Dan is I, I, I want it. I, yeah, he is. He's doing a great job. So he just stepped down as CEO of uh, SAS Academy, I think, to be full time influencer. So he made like a really incredible dramatic video on YouTube that people are like, oh my God. It's, and, and, I, I wouldn't just, I wouldn't go the influencer way. That's not my style, but I, I respect it. It's definitely that. not your style, but I could see it. I could see it like. I'd like, I'd like to be, I wonder it. if I could be the opposite. I wonder if there's any way you could be an un, influencer. Yeah, like, but that's uh, Naval. That was oh, Naval. Shit. And then, about, and then, no. Yeah, now he's an influencer. So it's, I mean, it's how it works is you become or the influencer. Can I defriance? Yeah. I don't know. It was like, wasn't it that Black Mirror episode with, with the um, where they were creating energy by being on the bicycles, like the Pelotons? Oh, yeah. And yeah, the guy yeah. ended up becoming an influencer. Like it was a three even the, four. Yeah. Yeah, it was crazy. So, was early one. I mean, like, I want to go back to this point of action plus but, but energy. Sorry, we, we said it before, but, plus, I, but 
even if you have no viewers, I just want to say hi to this AI who will watch this video, you know, 100 years from now. I will love that. Shorts for if... Instagram. And... <laughs> please like, <laughs> like, and subscribe. And please. <laughs> Our almighty, get... almighty master. <laughs> and please help me Don't get a me. Waymo invite. Yeah. Like, I want a Waymo invite, but yeah. when Way Waymo and Uber merge, I want a Waymo invite, please. Yeah. Um, That's Uber. Uber but... is better. Or Tesla Robo Taxi. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Sorry, sorry, I, I don't, you. For whatever reason, I don't trust the FSD. I was in FS. I've, I've been in the FSD a few times, and every single time I'm in it, I feel like I'm going to die. And I'm from Florida, and Florida and Teslas and self driving usually end up in like guys. I trust in the back FSD over the, the name. Video games the name dying. is not good, is it? What, what FSD stands for? It's like fast, super it's full fast. Self it's full, full self driving. Full -driving. <laughs> Yeah, 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 it was amazing. I, yeah, but... I recently tried it. It was like really great. It just like takes over, and it, there's car yeah. coming from behind. It will just go back to the lane. It's it's fascinating. I maybe not right now. It's not like ninety percent. I, I don't know. I was comfortable. Oh, I would definitely let yeah, FSD it's... drive me around. You're, yeah, I'm... it's because you're an entrepreneur. You're comfortable with ninety percent. Yeah. <laughs> Like about ten percent. Yeah. I'll take the odds. One <laughs> chance out of ten. Fuck yeah, Let's do FSD. Okay, okay. We... get some I, <laughs> For, for whatever reason, I wouldn't. I wouldn't trust the. Uh, I, I wouldn't trust like the Indian self-driving car for whatever reason. I mean, I, I'm it's horrible for me to say that. So, but um, I would trust it. I like, would trust it more. But like, uh, it, it's coming. I think everybody. I love the self-driving thing because ten years ago. What about the Cuban self-driving car? Would that be yeah, a good one? No, but ten years. I remember ten years ago, my my friends were like, "Oh my god, self driving! It's amazing!" I was like, "It's not gonna happen very soon. It's gonna be a lot of work." And now I'm like, "Holy shit, it's happening! It's amazing!" And people say, "No, it's not gonna happen well, soon." And I'm like, "No, yeah. come on." The the negativity. I don't on think. The... I, I I I don't think it's I don't think it's gonna happen soon outside of cities with grids. Yeah, yeah. I no, think that's you you what, can you can mitigate what... that by by just having special signalization. You can you can help the car. But what what I mean is, sure. it's just the, the the one point I wanted to make is. I love listening to the AI conversation, like, or talking to my friends who work in AI, and a lot of them are like, you know, this is bullshit, blah, blah. Um, but when you dive and you say, like, you know, oh, it's bullshit, it's not going to happen, you know, right now, but it's going to happen in 20 years or 30 years, I'm like, holy shit, it's so soon. Yeah, it is. Um, <laughs> yeah. People, like, the, we're, we're just debating about is it two years or 20 years, but whatever it is in the, you know, in the eyes of mankind, you know, 250,000 plus years, it's, it's, it's a blip. Yeah. It's insane. So, uh, yeah. That's Sorry, we would divert, saying. but it's fine. It's the end of it. Action plus energy plus summer. I, I wanted to also point out that, yes, the weather's getting better. It's May, mm. even though it's freezing in, in San Francisco, as we know, San Francisco is the worst summer. Do it was the Mark Twain. The Mark Twain quote, the coldest mm. summer ever spent was in San Francisco. But I do feel like at, like last summer, I was still in finishing the stack, selling it. So it was brutal times other than Central Pay and Frank's house. Um, but uh, this summer, I feel like will be a nice sort of push to figure out what's next. And the way I've looked, I look back at all the things I started. A lot of the things I started, but, I started in the summer. Yeah. But again, mm, I, interesting. I, I'd like to emphasize, like, let, let's drop the what's next. Like it's, don't, don't think about it. Just, just do shit. You know? Cool. For, we can get about the episode next. here. That's it. I've got two quotes for you, um, which I looked at from La Fontaine. The first one I like is a person often meets his destiny on the road he took to avoid it. Yeah. Okay. It's a good one. Yeah. It's very hero's journey. Very hero's journey quote because mm. you go the yeah. other route. It's got a bunch of good ones. I like the by the work one knows the workman. It's like grandpa, but it's good. The walkman? The workman. Work. Oh. Workman. And oh, this one, this one's darker but good. I think everyone calls himself a friend, but only a fool relies on it. Nothing is commoner than the name. Nothing rarer than the thing. Okay, so I have a question. So we say <laughs> let's do shit, and I I don't normally say I have a question before I have a question, but I was thinking about it because normally I don't think when I talk. <laughs> so. Merrick. America. America. Fuck yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> Do first. So think if after. If we, if we think action trumps thought right now, and um, ugh, Trump? I shouldn't have said trumps. Ah, oh, fuck Trump. No. But so, uh, we, we're, if we're action. Ranking, no. Because you cannot say action <laughs> binds. <Yeah. not. laughs> if, if, if action, action is trumps. actually better. <laughs> if action no, is no, better no. than thought. 
Of course not. So, it's, it's we, we talked about my, my favorite quote that comes often and often, like, you know, the, the, the Davy Crockett, you know, remember this when I'm dead, be sure you're right, then go ahead. Or the Rene Char, which is think like a strategist, act like a primitive. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, they, they both go hand to hand and the rationale for it is the uh, bonded rationality, which is whatever you're thinking of, the more you think at one point, it will still be rational. You're still going to mm-hmm. reach that limit where whatever you think doesn't make sense. Like the, the 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 amount of information you have is not good enough. And so, action is like knowledge machine. The the more you do, and suddenly you'll have new ideas, new perspective, new meaning. Uh, and if but you just make, do action and make, no thinking, you you'll have the other issue, which is you know you're missing yes. all of that. So I, you need both. I want to make it. I want to make it clear. Like it's like a Venn diagram. You need both. It's in the middle <laughs> where it kind of hits. Um, yeah. And. Uh, like we know a lot of people that just act and they and then nothing yeah. happens. And we know and, a lot of people more who just think. I don't know. I mean, like acting, I think, is more efficient than thinking for sure because thinking is easier. Is easier, you know. Right, but we for just, example, if you say, say, "Oh, I'm going to make that website that's going to make AI and take your meeting and then you know be able to blah blah blah," it's easy to talk about it. Um, yeah, but executing on, on such an idea is difficult. So, but it's easier to. Section- to Thing reminds Action. me of uh, what was the name of the sport? Park parkour, where you like ran and climbed parkour. stairs and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like when you need to yep. climb something like narrow walls, it's the action <laughs> you sort of bounce from one side to another and go back forward, get back forward, and suddenly you're at the top. So that sort of hmm. this conversation reminds me of that. Like you need to uh, yeah. be a parkour performer, or whatever. I mean, it's the the word. You know, start, start a weekend. Our motto was no toll collection, which you know, I always I always used to add to that that it doesn't imply no, no talk, thinking. No talk, all action. Yeah, but always yeah, always complemented by yeah. saying it doesn't imply no thinking. But but yeah. yeah. Who came or, up with that? Was that Clint or is that uh, or the guy who founded Startup Weekend before you? No, no, it was, Startup Weekend. I came that came from Andrew for sure. Okay. Uh, okay. And um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's a great one, but the. I don't know, like, again, another version of that would be Linus Tovel, um, you know, where he says, show, show me the code. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So, everybody, this, 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 get this, shit done. We got a lot. Right, get shit done and click, again, put on the comment whatever, whatever you're working on, at least. Like, yeah. And subscribe. Yeah, What's let us know. Comment? Our 40 it's subscribers. Like the... But, but really, <laughs> get shit done. Get moving. Right We're, I mean, we are, the three of us are. We, you know, it, we, again, even if it's stupid, if it, even if it doesn't make sense, you know, it's like, just just walk just do something yeah yeah it's it's the parallel with health is really good you know if you have if you do zero physical activities you'll die and I, actually i think it was a paul Graham metaphor right which is a startup is like a shark paul if it doesn't swim it does that bit did you see that mm-hmm. big paul Graham meme going around which is i didn't say that no. i never said that or something yeah. Also, oh, really? the, not seen it. also the new, that could be that should, the, that should be a good one for albert einstein also i think yeah yeah uh, yeah, Paul Graham is kind of like persona non grata right now in parts of the valley. Really? Oh, oh yeah, because, because of, of his, uh... be, his because of his um, political views. All right, that makes sense. So, yeah, so interest, interesting times to see YC um, and uh, you know what, what's happening. Till next time. Indeed. Bye.